What's going on, Vlog Nation? I know it's been forever since you guys saw me, but <clears throat> I was just doing some uh, some maintenance. I want to show you guys uh, my collection so far as to uh, exotic animals. I know it's been, man, it's been a long time since I've done a vlog and forever, but I was just doing some maintenance, so this is what's changed since the last time you guys saw me. I got this complete shelf of just nothing but spiders. And I took down the cages. I was going to individually show you the cages. If you guys want to know exactly what started it all, it was this cage right here. This is the first cage that I ever had for a spider at all. This is my, um, my rose here. And if you can tell, she's chubby. Yeah. But this is my first ever spider. This is the one that started the collection. This is the one that started it all. I'll show you the next one. Alright guys, this is the fourth one that I got. <clears throat> I got this one not too long ago, actually. Um, this one was a surprise and a present to me. I know I said I wanted one. This is a Cobalt Blue. All my cages have the names written on them. But this is a Cobalt Blue. This is actually a blue and black spider. It's got a tiger uh, abdomen on it. There you can see a few of the tiger stripes on it, on the abdomen. This is like just a low budget build because at first the first one I think I spent about like 25 bucks for the rose hair to have like a, a natural looking um, cage. That pretty much changed over and just start using like flower pots and cutting them in half which works very well. But this one you see it's webbed up everything but this is actually a burrowing spider and hasn't started to burrow yet as you can see I did make one under here and once it starts to burrow I will take this uh I'll take this flower pot out this is the cobalt blue let me show you the next few that I got I'm pretty sure you guys remember this one because I was excited when I got this one this is the pink toe I know you guys remember this one. Uh, let's see, this one is actually uh, <laughs> webbed up. The little space that it lives in. I haven't seen this one for about a week, maybe two, three weeks. I haven't seen this one at all. But yeah, this one is uh, this one is another one of my favorites besides the cobalt blue and the. Um, well, I'm not gonna tell you what the next one is. I'll show you that. Alright, this is the fourth one of the collection. This is actually a curly hair. Yes. A curly hair. I mean, you guys could probably Google search it. I cannot get this one to come out. But this one actually has curly hair all over it. It's kind of black with brown curly hair coming out of it. Very beautiful spider. I actually saw this one. I couldn't wait to get it. I just had to buy it. And, um,. I had a few extra cages at the house, so I just uh, threw a cage together real quick, put her in there, maybe a he or she, I'm not sure yet, I won't know till it molts, but I just threw a cage together because it was last minute, I didn't even expect to buy a spider that day, and I just ended up buying it, throwing a cage together real quick, because I had some extra stuff laying around, and I love this spider, I don't know, I know it's going to be hard to see, but this is actually the last spider I got in my collection right now it is the third spider I ever got it is the biggest spider I've got and um, it's actually the biggest spider in the world I'm pretty sure you guys remember on one vlog I unboxed this one but yes you remember uh, how big I was telling you the Goliath bird eater is and uh, at the time it was big during the vlog but she has got even bigger if you could see her back there she is absolutely humongous that that is a medium sized flower pot clay flower pot as you can see her legs span out to both sides of it it's probably about eight maybe between seven to eight inches wide so you can pretty much estimate how big this spider actually is this cage right here it's for a dermaril boa, uh, formerly known as a ground boa. 
very beautiful snakes uh this is one of them he's actually under his water bowl so I'm not even gonna tamper with him because he hasn't been eating um number one thing I'm not trying to get bit I've been bit by snakes before <clears throat> so I'm not trying to get bit <laughs> even though I make I know it'll make an exciting vlog but I'm not trying to get bit today I, I'm not I do not feel up to it <laughs> but uh it's a dumb real bowl very beautiful uh their body their eyes blend in with their body all right let's remember through. this guy this is our bearded dragon he's a uh, two years old today happy birthday <laughs> we've had this guy for two years since he was a baby and look how big and grown he's got we love him man we really do alright let's go to something else I don't know what you guys know much about snails but these are rose hair snails um, I have two of them I actually caught these while I was at work and I saw them on the ground they were mating so I just picked them up put them in a jar so I'm pretty sure you guys remember these guys. We actually have two now. This is uh, you remember the albino ferret? This is actually the albino ferret. Um, I forgot what Des named her. I can't remember. But I think yeah, Delilah. This is Delilah, the albino ferret. We actually have another one in there. I can't remember what she named uh him. But we have a male. They both neutered. Get back in there. Come on, get back in there. Nope, your mom's not home, so you can't come out. But this is the albino ferret. You can see how big she's gotten since the last time you guys seen her. She is a fat girl. <laughs> but he's actually asleep. Oh, there he is. This is actually the male. Now you can see what he looks like. Um, uh, I don't know how much of a fan you guys are of snakes, but these are two um, ball pythons. This one right here is a albino ball python. The one with the yellow and white coloring. I don't know if you guys ever seen this one. You might have seen it on the vlog before. I got to open this cage, but we have a second one that is gonna blow your mind. We have never taken pictures of this one. We have never posted this one. We have never even shown this one to anyone you guys have ever seen. Bam! There you go. Yes, it is. It absolutely is a all white albino. It's all white, not albino, correction, an all white ball python. This is actually called a. Um, I think last time we checked this was a lutistic. This means that this snake is all white with blue eyes. Very beautiful snake. She also has uh, some other um, pattern on her that isn't visible. Well, you could probably see that little stripe that's there on her, on her uh, head going down to her neck. Very beautiful snake both of them are very beautiful the sad part about this is neither one of these are males <laughs> so they should not be striking they shouldn't be striking at all and this one is well yeah pretty much well fed go ahead girl stretch out for them stretch out so they can see she probably doesn't want to be bothered right now which is why she's all balled up but as you can see, yes, it is real. I've picked up the snake. It's a, it's a real snake. <laughs> it's amazing because a lot of people don't see an all-white snake. But yeah, that's our uh, that's our pets for now. <laughs> and of course, you know we still have the uh, pit bull um, bear, but she's in trouble right now, and he deserves no camera time. But, yeah guys, we do everything, every type of cage for any type of animal, any type of size, no matter how big it is, we're doing it. So, this is what I built myself the first time. Um, this is my personal home cage. I did this for myself. There was 
nothing for the media to see so it wasn't supposed to be beautiful it's just something to get together real quick for some animals but this is my uh this is a uh jesus lizard cage that i built myself there was a water park down here with fish and stuff but what happened is i caught a leak in this uh i caught a leak in it so i removed all the water immediately I still got the sand and rocks and stuff down there. I'll fill it up later once I get some quick seal. Uh, you see they got their feeding bowl. And there was more plants in here. Those plants are up there because they started killing off the plants. I don't know how they were doing it, but they were killing the plants. So I had to immediately move them out. So that's why there's so many shelves in here. <laughs> you know. But these guys, if you can see, there's one guy right there. And there's another one up here. And this is a cage that I built myself. So this entire thing, this can lift up. You got a light up there. You got fans up there to regulate temperature. You got your little temperature thing on the side. This comes open by itself. All right, so how many of you guys like roaches? I think I'm hearing crickets. Nobody likes roaches. But you know what? I've got a roach infestation. You guys don't believe me? See it for yourself. There's roaches every freaking way. It's terrible. You got roaches. Roaches every fucking way, man. You guys don't believe that. Look at this. Roaches. Oh my god, roaches. What would you do with those around your house? What would you do if you had roaches every fucking way? And not small ones, big ones. These things are probably like three inches, man. I'm probably even, some of them probably even bigger than that. These guys are freaking huge. No, but. It's not so bad, I guess, since I know they're going to get use. They don't like light much, huh? You guys, you got animals to feed. Yeah, it's going to be like this. You have roaches, worms, crazy part, roaches making babies. Look at this. Oh man. These guys are everywhere. Man, look at that. Sick, isn't it? They're all moving around. They're not dead. They're not sitting still. That's a good thing, though. Lizards gotta eat. Spiders gotta eat. I gotta eat. Just kidding. No, but I told you guys I, I will show you uh, what I feed those guys. 